So this is a game plan that I'm very passionate about because I find myself giving this lesson more times than just about any other game plan that has different characteristics in it where I'm trying to get someone to do something different to play better golf. What you see here is a player who is a very good player and over the years starts to lose range of motion and then pretty soon he sees himself on video and that backswing has gotten very short. Now you say 15, 20 years ago, we had more thoracic spine mobility. We were able to kind of turn our shoulders, get the club relatively parallel to the top. More importantly, get the left shoulder back behind the golf ball. But as we get older, we lose mobility. We think about we're sitting at our office desk. Everything's kind of in this way. We're in airplanes, et cetera, et cetera. And pretty soon, we've got a golf swing that has really gotten much shorter. I've said this before in the Stripe Show podcast, I'll say it again, I lengthen out way more swings than I shorten up, especially as people get uh, older in age. So this is a lesson and a game plan that's gonna to apply to so many of you. Now, if you're someone who's over swinging, this might not apply to you, but if you're someone who's like, man, I've lost some distance over the years, I think this is, is something for you to consider. You look at his left knee to the top of the swing, his left knee really started to become very stagnant and hang out over this way. And I think the first step for him to understand in so many is that left knee, let it release back behind the golf ball. That left knee is gonna gain a little flexion down and across and point more behind the golf ball. I think that's the first thing that we have to understand. Let that left knee release a little bit back behind. When you do that, you'll feel that right hip now wanting to turn more. And for him, that right hip was kind of hanging out high, the left knee hanging out this way, and that left shoulder just couldn't get behind it. He didn't have the mobility in his thoracic spine anymore to get that left shoulder behind. And as a result, you know, the only place that club can go is kind of up and down. We're starting to get a little up and down, starting to get more toe strikes, pulls, weak fades, and pretty soon he's in my studio saying, I have lost a full club. I used to hit nine iron from here, now I'm hitting eight iron. So we're releasing that left knee, we're letting the right hip turn kind of more back. Right side of the pelvis still a little higher than the left, losing a little flexion in the right knee, still letting the weight kind of move towards the right heel. We're certainly not gonna turn the hip and spin and hang over here. We still want the weight moving into the right side. Let the left knee release, but let that right hip kind of climb back behind you, losing a little flexion in the knee. And you saw the drill that we did, which I love about showing a little bit of that window. And when you get a little bit of that window in there between the knees, well, now you're starting to use your lower body, I think, more dynamically, and that's gonna now transfer up the spine, and it's gonna allow you now to turn and get more back behind it. Okay, so I love this, lengthening this thing out, that governor, internal governor in your body, it gets stronger as you get older, right? It's saying, no, let's not go all the way up here. This may feel a little bit out of control, I think it's so important that we chip away at that internal governor and we don't give into it because if you give into it pretty soon, pretty soon you're going to have what I call the old man swing. Okay. And the old man swing is at some point we kind of look like this and we're not turning at all. It's just, So we've got to not give in to that. And we've got to keep recruiting from the lower body the right way as I described, allowing that left shoulder to climb across. Use that window as a good reference point. Now here's the final thing. The final thing here that really lengthens this out and makes it dynamic is adding a little spine extension to the spine. Spine extension is this movement back this way, flexion, is this way. And when you think about the old man swing, we set up, of course, flex forward, and then we just stay flexed. 
and we kind of get that going. Lower body stagnant, arms, wrists, and we just stay down in flexion. What you want to feel is you want to feel that spine extending a little bit as we turn. And it really feels like you're opening up and not staying so hunched down this way. So spine extension can help really lengthen this out a bit more to the top of the swing. It may feel like you're kind of elongating or spiraling up, but you're still keeping your orientation to the ball. I don't want you to go up this way and pull off of it. I want you to feel like you kind of extend, but keep your orientation down to the ball. So I'll finish with one more good drill for you here. I call it the lawnmower drill. And I, I get in my setup, I grab that cord, and I'm gonna pull that cord, and I'm gonna pull it right up through my right shoulder. And I'm gonna pull it right up through my right shoulder. And as I do that, you can see me kind of elongating up. I wouldn't pull that cord this way, right? That'd be the old man swing. Staying down in flexion, hips stagnant. I pull that cord up and back behind me. And as I do that, I feel my knee coming across. I feel my right leg maybe standing up a little bit. I feel that window opening up. I feel my spine extending and all of those things to make that happen. Do it on both sides. Pull it up the other way. All right, just like that. Get more dynamic with your lower body, your upper body. Keep the swing lengthened out. And that's what we did in this particular lesson in the studio, which you can see the big difference between the old swing and the new swing, which resulted in, I got a text from him a week later into 15 yards. All right, so show me the gap between the knees going back. Ooh, see the space? See the space in there? You're looking at the window, good, now reset it. Okay, now this time, do the old way where you don't turn the lower, the knees stay. Now look at the window. Yeah, yeah, there's your old way, right? Probably feel restricted. All right, now, show me the gap. Love it. Really, really good. So we're gonna go same turn in the lower, but point that left shoulder behind the ball. Good. Let's reset it. Stay tall in the spine. Don't dip down. There you go. One more time. Give me more recruitment in the lower. Feet closer together. Tilt the spine a little to the right at address. And then from there we turn. Excellent. Going back. Love it. Okay, here we go. Back to the ball. We're gonna hit it this time. Allow that to develop in the backswing. Wow. 